Okay, we are back with part three of Dragon Quest. In the last episode, uh, we did a little bit more fighting the boss crook. Name escapes me. I did did it like two days ago. Croc, croc or something. <clears throat> anyway, we're gonna carry on with Let's go. some more. Oh yeah, we all not a uh, another slot anyway. Uh, what have we got? Attack. Yeah, we'll do that. Don't want no negatives, thank you very much. That one's particularly for die as well, so... Yeah. As always, I will jump in if I feel I need to. But otherwise... I will see you in the next episode. Crocodile, you'll pay for this. A mark on his forehead. Ah! Is this ah! 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 I'll pulverize you. Ah! Ah! You're mine. Ah! You're mine. Ah! Ah! Crocodile, you're Yeah! 
Sam, hang in there! Pop, wh what kind of power is this? I don't really know. It must be some hidden ability of his. As far as I can tell, that strange mark responds to Dai's anger. And right now, he must be truly angry. I think he's about to explode after all the Dark Army's dirty schemes. Is this Dai's true power? The power that forced Lord Hadlar to retreat? If I lose, why have I thrown my pride away? I must win even if it destroys me! Your body may be like steel, but at such close range, there's no chance you'll overcome me! With my greatest attack, I send you to the afterlife! Hey, die! Use this! Do it now, die! Master special attack! You're finished! Please kill Anguish Blast! Was it? Oh. An impressive attack. You, you win. <laughs> if losing was always my fate, I wish that I'd fought you fair and square. You boy, you taught me a lesson on how valuable pride really is. Huh? If my defeat is at the hands of one such as you, I have no regrets. As a matter of fact, I'm proud. I was so obsessed with victory. I was a fool. Farewell, die. Don't ever lose. A hero must always remain strong! Huh? Crocodile. You won! <gasps> All of you fought very well, especially Dai. This victory was thanks to you. You truly have grown into a young man who is worthy to carry the title of hero. And from this day on, you may introduce yourself as such. Your Majesty, it's too soon for me. What are you talking about? I would have never won it alone, because you, ma'am, Gomachan, and everyone in the castle worked together for this victory. If I'm a hero, then everyone is a hero. So, until I get a little stronger, and can fight without burdening anybody else, I can't in good faith accept this title. I'm a bit embarrassed. It's admirable. Very well, I look forward to your further growth. These gifts are the least I can do for you three. Now, please, try them on, and then we'll go show you off to the people. 
Everyone is eager to see the heroes who saved this country. It feels pretty good to work really hard and have people thank you for it like this afterwards. Hey, Pop. You actually seem a little cool today. Nice work. Wow! Thank you for all the support! Die, listen to them cheer for you. It's as clear as day. While you may not wish it yet, I'm sure the people will speak of you as Die the Little Hero. Okay, it does look like we've uh, finished chapter 2 as well. I uh, didn't think we'd finish chapter 2 quite that quickly, so it might end up being that the game is actually quite short. Um, so yeah, on to chapter 3. Having saved the kingdom of Romos, Dai and his friends next made their way to Papnica by ship. En route, the captain informed them that Holkia, the continental home to Papnica, was Dark Lord Hadlar's base 15 years prior. As such, Papnica was seeing the fiercest combat. Worse, the Legion of Immortals, the Dark Army's most fearsome, had come to seize it. Leona, I'll be there soon. Just hold on! so frail. Why do humans have such fragile bodies? It's such a letdown. If these are supposed to be their best warriors, then this country is all but mine. Master, we just received an urgent message from a Hydra! Our Legion commanders are together at Sovereign Rock Castle! Why all of us together? Did they say what's going on? Yes, Master. It seems a new young hero has risen and defeated Crocodile the Beast King! Really now, Crocodile? I see, so it's an emergency. So be it then. I will go to Sovereign Rock Castle. You finish off this country yourselves. Show no mercy! Burn the villages! And put any survivors on ice! Leave no trace of the humans, be it house, or field, or even livestock! Understand? Yes, yes, sir! Ah, Flazard. Fast as ever, I see. You live up to your name of Blitz Captain of the Dark Army. I heard Crocodine was defeated. Truly pathetic. To lose to a mere human kid. That boy die may be human, but he is not to be underestimated. I offered him a flawless scheme, and still the so-called Beast King managed to lose! He's being kept in resurrection fluid, but his chances are 50% at best. If whoever caused this damage is really just a kid, then he's a true monster. No one, no matter how strong they are, should be able to damage Crocodine's steel body like this. That means this die must possess more than just physical power. I concur. This fledgling hero possesses an immense potential. Aran, my sympathies, pal. Heading off to take Ringaya, only to be summoned right back. It's a cruel joke. Save your sympathies. The Ringaya kingdom has been destroyed. But really so fast? Come along. Lord Hadlar awaits in the left shoulder chamber. He's as powerful as a wrathful god. Always has been. Thank you all for coming so far. 
We're still missing Yunkel and Mistvern. Who in the blazes would be late for an emergency summons? Come now, Flazard. You really haven't noticed? Mistvern is seated right next to you. You! How did you... Hmm. Then that just leaves Hyunkel. Sadly, it appears I must apologize to all of you. I had intended to gather our forces in order to obliterate the new hero, Dai. But Dark King Vern has a different notion, and he has made a direct order. He gave the task of defeating the boy to Hyunkel, and we are not to interfere. Is this really the famously scenic port city of Papnaka? Captain! This place is dangerous! Once we're off the ship, get as far away from here as you can! Hey, wait up, Dai! Please be okay, Leona. We were too late. This is terrible. <laughs> sk 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 skeletons! This must be the Legion of Immortals! They invaded this country! C calm down, Dai. We're clearly outnumbered here. Oh, fine then. It looks like we have to fight. That was the Avon-style sword technique! An Earth Slash! What? Then he's one of Avon's students, like we are? Thank you for saving us! So you're a student of Master Avon, too? Believe it or not, we're also... I knew it. You're his disciples. It is indeed true that I learned to fight from Avon. And if I'm to be called a student of his... Well then, I suppose I would, in fact, be the first. What a freaky sword. I've never seen a blade so ominous looking. He's got a strange, malicious feel to him. Is he really on our side? So tell us, what happened to this country? It fell to the Dark Army's Undead Legion two days ago. The Undead Legion? You mean those skeletons? And Leona? What happened to the princess of this country? No idea. I was wondering about that myself. Leona... We were lucky to meet you here when we did. Join us, and let's all fight together. No, hold it! I'm telling you guys, something is off here! What the heck are you talking about, Pop? Yeah, come on! Only a student of Master Avon could use Earth Slash, right? If you're really one of his students, you should have an insignia of Avon like us! You mean this? Well, don't I feel dumb. See, it's all fine. We're gonna need all the help we can get, so what do you say? Fight with us! We'll take on the Dark Army together! <laughs> okay, what's so funny? I was just laughing at what complete fools the three of you have turned out to be. I'll give it my all! <laughs>
the meaning of this? I told you guys, this creep is a villain after all! Yeah, but his insignia... It's probably just a fake or something! Oh no, it isn't a fake. The uncomfortable truth of the matter is, not all students of Avon respect their teacher and love justice like you. Some of us love chaos, and have embraced the darkness instead. After seeing just how weak justice really is! My name is Hyunkle, one of the six commanders of the Dark Army, leader of the Undead Legion! How could a student of Master of Vaughn be a Legion commander of the Dark Army? Wait, Hyunkle, haven't you heard? Master of Vaughn, he was defeated by the Dark Army. He's gone. Yes, I heard about it. Word is, Hadlar did it. I'll admit, it was quite a shock. <sighs> to be defeated by the very enemy he once bested? That's what he gets for taking on students and neglecting his own training. For what it's worth, I was hoping to kill him myself. Such a shame. <sighs> I asked the Dark King to give me a chance at defeating the Vaughn students instead. However, now that I see their weaklings like you, I can't tell which is more disappointing! Don't disrespect my master! I'm not gonna let you talk like that! Take it back! Give it my all! <laughs> I'll end I'll your end misery. misery. What's the meaning of this? The uncomfortable truth of the matter is, not all students of Avon respect their teacher and love justice like you. My name is Hyunkle. One of the six commanders of the Dark Army, leader of the Undead Legion! How could a student of Master of Vaughn be a Legion commander of the Dark Army? You call that a Von Strash? <laughs> what a joke. It was just a cheap imitation. You know the lesson. Slice the earth, slice the sea, slice the air. And what slices everything is the Avon Strash. 
fighting you, I can tell you haven't mastered the Abon style sword technique yet. You're still missing the third skill, the air slash. <sighs> Die. Even if you breeze through the special hard course, you'll probably learn air slash on the seventh day. That's right. I only ended up training with Master Avon for three days. Even I can't use Air Slash. It's the greatest of the Avon-style sword techniques. It's only when Earth, Wave, and Air have all been mastered that the Avon Strash reveals its ultimate power. In its current state, your attack is nothing more than an incomplete imitation. And even I'm capable of that. Avon Strash! Three against one. Well, then I will have to use my secret weapon. As a warrior, I can't use spells. So the Dark King Vern gave me a powerful solution. A supreme armor that repels all attack spells. When I wear it, I'm invincible! Supreme armor, huh? I don't see any armor around here. Oh no, it's right in front of you! Undo! This dark armor blade is both the mightiest weapon and the mightiest defense. Stand down. I won't fight a woman. Do not underestimate me. Women can risk their lives in battle, especially when fighting for justice. You learned it too, didn't you? I know that Master Avon would never grant one of his insignias to someone who's unworthy. I know that deep down you... What? I don't need it. I only carried that relic around to help me find Avon or his disciples. So I could have the pleasure of killing them myself. But why? I don't understand why you hate him so much. Because Avon is a murderer. The killer of my father! This continent of Holkia was once the Dark Lord Hadlar's base. The old Dark Army descended on the world like a blight. The casualties were many. Poor thing. I was raised in Hadlar's underground palace by the armful Bartos. The only reason he was allowed to keep a human child was because he was the strongest knight in all the Dark Army. And he was a guardian of the Hellgate, which led to the Dark Lord's chambers. I shall name you Yonkel, after the legendary swordsman who once ruled the Underworld. I wasn't permitted to leave the palace, but I grew up without ever questioning it. Bartos was the first man to teach me warmth. But then one day... Bartos, sir! The hero is attacking! He's finally come. Yunkel, as guardian of the Dark Lord, it's my duty to fight the hero. It's possible I won't survive. Now you mustn't leave this place. If I don't return, promise me you'll grow up strong. Unlike other monsters, the undead cannot sustain themselves without the Dark Lord's presence. With Hadlar's death and the loss of his dark power, my father... 
Young girl, thank you for the memories. It's ironic. The man who happened to find me was a Vaughn himself. He had no way of knowing who I was. Perhaps he assumed I was some child the monsters had captured. But I knew immediately that he was the hero, and the one responsible for what happened to my father. At that moment, I swore that I'd gain the strength to one day defeat him. That's why I became a Vaughn student and learned to fight, so that I could defeat him with what he had taught me! Stop it! I know how you feel, but Master of Vaughn was... What? Was fighting for justice? Justice or not, it doesn't change the fact that he took everything from me. My father was reduced to ashes. If that is justice, then justice itself is my enemy! Now to finish you off, I'll show you the special attack that I intended to use on Avon! Take this! This is the attack I developed just to defeat the Avon-style sword technique. It's called Bloody Scride. I devised this attack as I absorbed everything Avon taught me. Then, on the day I graduated, I came for his life. Congratulations, Yunkle. You've officially gained the skills of a full-fledged warrior. And so, I present you with this. Consider it a graduation certificate. But you are far from being a complete warrior. Your blade work seems to have a strange malice or animosity to it. Master, do you know a man by the name of Bartos? Bartos was the strongest knight in all of the Dark Army, and he was my father. And so the malice that you sense in my blade, it's my hatred towards you for murdering him! Wait a minute! Chunko! What have I done? I fought back without even thinking. But if I hadn't, I'm sure he would have killed me. Such talent with a blade. He strikes like a demon. Oh. I failed. And the only reason I survived was because the Dark King's trusted servant, Mistvern, the Shadow Vizier, rescued me. Since then, I have continued to train as a warrior for the Dark Army. Now, my own attack far surpasses the power of Avon Strash! Your foolhardy dodging has only drawn out your suffering. Let me end it for you. My name is Hyunkle. One of the six commanders of the Dark Army. Leader of the Undead Legion! Give it my all! <laughs> I'll crush you in one blow! Stand down. I won't fight a woman. Do not underestimate me. 
Women who risk their lives in battle, especially when fighting for justice. <laughs> Let me guess a lesson from the bond. Watch me go! Not so fast! Stand down. I won't fight a woman. Do not underestimate me. Women can risk their lives in battle, especially when fighting for justice. <laughs> Let me guess. A lesson from Avon? Wave slash! have no power, yet you insist on troubling me! This should keep you from pulling any more of your bothersome tricks. Uh, uh. Dark puppetry aura hand! This particular skill uses a dark aura to bind the enemy. It is typically used to take control of the undead forces. And now, you're nothing but my puppet. Give it up already, die! Your time has run out! Now die! Bloody scry! What did he... Don't be so sure. But you, I thought... Crocodile! You survived? What is the meaning of this? Just what it looks like. I'm here to protect Dai. You there, boy. Come take Dai and escape with the Garuda. You're still too weak to defeat Hyunkle yourselves. You have to escape. But, ma'am... Don't be concerned. She'll be all right. Hyunkle isn't the type to harm the girl, no matter what the situation is. I'll do everything I can to help her. But right now, you must get Dai out of here! Do you really think that I'll just let that happen? I am still one of the Dark Army's Legion commanders. I can take you down with me if I have to. You can't. You don't have the strength right now! 
That's right. Your armor may be brand new, but I can still tell. The wounds from your previous battle still haven't fully healed. Your steel hide is nothing more than a cracked shield right now. <laughs> No, curse you! Let go! You'll have to finish me off! Wait! Ma'am still... put me down! Crocodile, out of all the Dark King's Six Legion commanders, I believe that at least you and Baram were worthy of respect. How disappointing that you'd submit to a brat! I just couldn't stand seeing someone who bested me lose to someone else. A loser's argument. How the Beast King has fallen. If you refuse to get out of my way, Crocodile, I'm just gonna have to run right through you. So be it! Why would you care so much about them? They are the sworn enemies of our Dark Army. Oh, our Dark Army. <laughs> If you ask me, it never seemed as if you were fighting for the Dark Army. It always looked more like you were fighting out of anger towards the humans. <laughs> I was the same. I looked down on humans. I thought they were puny, pathetic creatures. But fighting Dai and his friends made me realize that they are strong and compassionate beings. They can work together, sharing their joy as well as their sadness. They're not like us monsters, who are alone in our strength. Quiet! Enough of your nonsense! There's no way you can't realize the greatness within you. Don't you see that you are lying to yourself? I said enough! <laughs> it's good not to be human. When I am reborn, I hope it's as one of them. Crocodile. So long as I have her... They're sure to come to her rescue, and when they do, I'll finish them. After fleeing Hyunkle's assault, Dai and Pop met Batik, a swordsman serving Princess Leona, spending the night at his hideout. The next day, in the hopes of defeating Hyunkle, Pop bound with a brand new spell, Reclimatize. Though Hyunkle's armor may repel all magic, Pop figured that as metallic gear, it remained vulnerable to an electric attack. The plan was for Pop to cast Reclimatize, to summon Thunderclouds, which Dai would then use to unleash a Zapple on Hyunkel. Though Dai struggled to aim while practicing, he eventually prevailed. With their plan set, the boys headed to the underground palace for the final showdown. That's the entrance to the base of the Undead Legion. So Mam's down there? It seems like it. She wasn't at the temple, so they probably took her with them. Then Crocodine? I don't know what happened to him. It looked like he was still healing from when he fought against you, Dai. 
That's strange. The usual guards don't seem to be around. Well, how lucky for us, then. Okay, let's go. Right. Onward! I'll be right beside you! Wait! You don't have to, old-timer. Our main goal is to rescue our friend. We need you here to keep watch, just in case. You do have a point, I suppose. We're off, then. Those brats have entered the palace. Make sure to lead them to where Master Hyunko commanded. Oh no, I've got to get out of here. G goma chan how did you get there? Mimi! Oh, you were worried about me, so you stowed away? Thank you. goma chan can you get those? Prisoners escaped! It's narrow, but hang in there. If this is an air duct, then it has to lead outside somewhere. A hidden room. Oh, a treasure chest. Should we look inside? Huh? Well, maybe it's a can of box. Or maybe it contains some powerful legendary weapons, so... This... this is...
this place? It's the Colosseum of the Underground Palace. The Dark Lord Hadlar used to have prisoners fight monsters here. He enjoyed making a spectacle of the battle. I choose it now as the perfect place to vanquish you. Hey, this might work. We can see the sky from here. What have you done with Nam? Don't worry. Once you're gone, I'll have no use for her. She'll be safely released. In fact, you can leave as well, little mage. Thanks, but no thanks! Well, Pop, we'll fight here. You ready? You two are no match for me. I'll crush you in one blow! Let's get this started!
to adventure! <laughs> Let's get this started! care of this.
This'll do it! A bridge!
master taught me this! Like that! 